Text Wrangler is a great free editor for Max 10.6 or newer. If you have 10.5, you should install Smoltron. Go ahead and just do a search for it in Google and find the barebones.com website. It's pretty simple. You just find the download link and download it. Wait for it to download. and install it. Just drag it over and install it. Now let's open up Applications folder and find it. I'm in, a, I'm in Applications here. I'm going to type T for Text Wrangler to take me down to the T's. Here's Text Edit. That's if you don't want to install anything. Here's what we just installed, Text Wrangler. So let's open it up. So right now there's a lot of stuff that you'll probably not be familiar with and you don't need to really figure all this out the main thing that you'll be concerned with is con editing in in the window here and then the saving options save save as save a copy and then if you need to revert or reload from the disk these are ways of um, going back to the most recently saved copy of what you've been working on now you'll note that there are line numbers and it even does things like um, if I if I have a line that's very long if it wraps it'll give me a new line number so right now there's no wrapping it goes all the way out as far as you want that's normally the way you'll do it but you can also give it some wrapping and then it shows you that this is still line 3 even though it's spanning multiple lines and here's line 4. Now the other thing you'll want to know is that to get syntax highlighting working you have to save it in the correct format. Text Wrangler will always save with plain text. It won't format it but you have to save it with the correct extension so it knows what kind of file it is. So I'm going to save this in my web making folder on my desktop as webpage.html. I give it my own extension here. Now once I save this it recognizes, okay, this is an HTML file, and now if I type HTML, it'll give me syntax highlighting. So let's do the bold tag, and you can see that it's made the bold tag blue. It made the HTML blue, so I can kind of see that this is code and this is content. 